Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Let's pray for all the believers who are in position of government. Lord, the courage to be right and to stay right. Lift your voice and pray. Courage. It takes courage to be right in this nation. It takes courage. Because sometimes you will be right at the expense of your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please be seated. You are welcome. Amen and amen. There's a lot that God is doing i just want to charge us very quickly and then um i'll begin to pray for the sick and my spirit is fired up tonight because i know by the holy ghost that god is not going to rest until that which he has declared over my life and your life until it comes to pass if you believe say amen jesus gave a parable and said there was a man that went to seek help from his neighbor paraphrasing and the neighbor for a long time would not attend to him and the bible says that man kept persisting persisting and though the man would not talk to him but for his importunity he kept drumming him in other words i'm not going back the woman kept going to the judge i meant to say avenge me avenge me my adversary and he would not listen to her the bible says he neither feared god nor man but that woman said, I may not have the power to beat you, but I have the power to force you to move. And she demonstrated persistence. And the Bible says she wearied that unrighteous judge until he moved on her behalf. I spoke about diligence last week. And it's a very powerful key. There is a way you stand and insist that, Lord, what is mine must enter my hand. I've seen it in my dreams I've seen it in my visions, but Lord, I agree with you that it must be in my life. Archbishop Benson Idahosa said, if your faith says yes, God will not say no. So we are here tonight, among other things, not just to pray for the sick alone, not just to deliver the oppressed alone, but to trust God to take away every barrier that is capable of stopping you from testifying and seeing the goodness of god in your life listen the theology of oppression is very straightforward it's very simple god has an agenda completion satan has an agenda his agenda is to stop whatever will make god happy period his agenda is not to cause you pain his agenda is not to make you broke listen his agenda is not to make you sick. His agenda is not to make you fail. That's not Satan's agenda. His agenda 
is to make sure he becomes a resistance to whatever in and through your life will bring God glory. That's it. So if it takes crippling your destiny for your life to become a mockery to God, Satan will go to any length to make it happen. So if Satan makes you broke, it is not about finance. If all you are looking at is finance, you are, you are making a mistake. It's not your finances. He wants to use your life as a message to say, God, you are a liar. So his assignment is to find everything God said concerning your life that he tied his integrity to and use your life like a canvas to paint a picture because you are the highest of his creation. Are we together now? So if Satan ensures that this man and his wife don't give birth, it's not about barrenness. You see, if all you see is, oh God, when are we going to have a child? It's not about barrenness. There is something that you're giving birth to a child will do to the name of the Lord within your territory. And that's what Satan is fighting. When Elizabeth was barren, it was not about her. It was about John the Baptist who will ordain Jesus, who will save the world, who will bring glory to the Father. It wasn't about Elizabeth. She was just a scapegoat because she came into the midst of prophecy. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There are some of you, the devil is fighting your breakthrough because he knows that that gate and that door has never been opened in your family. And he knows you are too kind to receive the blessing of the Lord and allow your loved ones cry. So he would do anything. He has already seen your heart and he will make sure it doesn't get to your hand. I have learned from the word of God and by experience that Satan is not looking for many things. Satan is looking for anything that can give God glory. Whatever can give God glory is a threat to Satan. I think you should write that down. Anything that in and through your life can give God glory is a big threat to Satan more than you know. Your job can be a threat to Satan if it will give God glory. Your business can be a threat to Satan if it will give God glory. Your prosperity can be a threat to Satan if it would give God glory. Your having children can be a threat to Satan. And that's what he's looking for. So why should the devil allow God give you a car when he knows that with that car you will no longer come to church alone you want to buy a bus and he had your prayer when you were vowing and said Lord bless me with this bus and I will make sure this bus is full every Sunday and the devil says oh I had that if you said Lord buy me a bus to prove to the people in my village I'm not a failure he doesn't mind because all that doesn't bring glory to God. Let me tell you, not everything threatens Satan. I can tell you what threatens Satan. The moment he sees your heart saying, Lord, my life and anything that will pass through this life will give you glory. It may look simple, but you have said something to Satan that is more painful than praying in tongues. That my life... Lord, bring these millions for me. And Lord, if you bring these millions for me, I have 11 siblings along my family line that have not gone to school. And Lord, I know that if you put this in my hand, I will make sure all of them go to school. And I will make sure they go to mission schools. And Satan says, uh -huh. the school was not the issue. The mission, mission Abi, and that's it. An attack that you did not invite comes to your life. And you'll be wondering what is happening to my business. It's not the business. There is an agenda. You have connected your business to God's heart. And Satan says that's a threat. Remember, in the Bible, Satan killed children. He didn't wait till they grew. If he killed children, he will kill visions even before they manifest. He doesn't have to wait till you get the first contract. He doesn't have to wait till you start the church. He's seeing you in the secret place praying. And say, Lord, you know I desire this healing anointing, not just for myself. In this entire territory, the men of God are wonderful, but it's just evangelism here. 
there's no demonstration of the power of God Lord I come to you if it pleases you can you grant that to my hands ah the devil sees what you are saying if you said Lord anoint me because my uncle said something that I will never be a success and I need to prove to him it will not threaten the devil but the moment Satan is looking for the kingdom component of your prayer the kingdom component of your communication anything you say and do if satan can find the heart of god in it he's threatened lord i thank you lord you know that is it's not like i don't like men lord I, I want to be able to to marry somebody that loves you it's my, it's always been my privilege to serve you serve you i want my children to call upon your name the devil had that one too he didn't hear lord i worship you he didn't hear lord i thank you for this day he had my children will worship you and satan says no way make sure make sure that this lady wherever her marriage is bury it to nonsense give her money give her a job because she has not made any statement about god being glorified in the job so she can have the job but the one that god will be glorified through that's the one i'm interested in are we together and then when satan hears you pray prayers like lord take my everything the devil says demons you can go i'm staying here take my everything <laughs> there is a reason why satan attacks he does not attack you because of you listen God is comforting us already because there are many of us wondering what is all this Lord what is this I will see something almost getting to me what is the thing why why is Satan taking my case personal there is a reason the reason is not you don't be fooled it's not you the reason is something you represent something that is of God through you Satan has seen that by God's preordination your womb is supposed to carry one of the prophets that will herald God's end time agenda and he says whatever make her marry wrong or make her not get married or make her get married to somebody who has the cause of barrenness just do whatever you can do to clamp this lady oh God my father is 71 they are still staying in a rented house Lord would you open a door for me and as you do this lord you see my heart i will renovate all the churches in our village i will sponsor this i will buy a bus and satan says buy a bus for nonsense renovate which church all of a sudden you find out that the business that everybody likes you suddenly your business partner starts saying i don't understand you again it's not the business partner my brother a commitment from you has touched the heart of god and it sounded an alarm to the gates of darkness you see when you when when you understand how and why satan attacks then you will know why the power of god will continue to come around your life until victory is complete hmm. one day I, I can't remember where i was driving to sometimes i just drive in the night alone and sometimes i just move and then i parked somewhere around that market side and i was looking at someone just passing and the lord was telling me something about that guy and the lord was telling me that guy going i just saw the guy just moving and he said that guy the devil has rubbish that guy true story and that in this guy's destiny he was supposed to be the first preacher in his entire lineage and i saw the boy moving with all this these rough and scattered boys around and i was just looking i said my god if your life does not have a message that gives god glory you will beg satan to come he will run satan a demon goes to a wilderness and because there's nothing in that wilderness that has god's assignment the demon casts itself out of the wilderness back to a human being that God can use remember Jesus said when a spirit leaves a man it goes to a wilderness he didn't find anything in that wilderness that is pro God and he left it back 
said i want the man because god can still use him i can tell you why satan is threatened by everything around you your worship does something to him your commitment does something to him when satan comes and sees our little children hearing the word of the lord he says what can i do to this family to stop them from coming for koinonia and the easiest way is can i cripple their finances because if there is no money there's no food to eat there's no transport and if there's no transport there will be argument between daddy and mommy you see that wise plan all of a sudden you find out that something that would have worked does not work again and he steps back and allows you to blame yourself and while the children are suffering they say sorry it's time for koinonia i say koinonia what and devil said that's it mission accomplished it was never about money that's why a lot of people say why is it that unbelievers who don't love god they are getting rich what in their life threatens satan it's not about I mean, look if you think it's about money and tea and bread and cars no sir satan was willing to give it to jesus he said jesus why go the long route just bow to me i will give you this meaning if satan if jesus bowed to satan all of a sudden even caesar will be dethroned and jesus could go and sit down and satan doesn't mind provided you are my boy enjoy everything you never the devil will never allow you to hold the hands of god and hold the hands of the blessing he will say choose one hold the blessing and leave god or hold god and leave the blessing the miracle service says you can hold both that's why we're here tonight yes sir that you can say i can still serve god and pay my sibling school fees because of the blessing of the lord i can still serve god and i don't need to go and collect any charm yet i will prophesy to nonsense and cast out any demon you see that listen you are here tonight i'm announcing to you very straight up what we are here for we are not here to waste our time we are here to stand in agreement with god i have seen how people in ignorance allow the devil to make nonsense out of their lives choose between raising a godly family or not getting married choose between being a very wealthy man or a pastor hello choose between being the first graduate from your village or being a popular musician anything that you can use to give god glory is what satan is looking for he will find you he will haunt you and if you do not understand the systems of the kingdom he will make sure that he makes nonsense out of your life and listen the moment he sees that your health and vitality and energy has been committed unto god he will now find a particular disease and program it across your lineage not you if you have headache that means it may just be that you need you just need some time to rest satan is too wicked to just give you a headache satan wants to program something you heard that dear lady cancer in um the grandmother just like faith can be transferred so you program it in a way that a young lady is just 35 36 and all of a sudden she's feeling what is this ah mama died of cancer now i'm having cancer tomorrow another person has cancer those people don't need healing they need deliverance it looks like it's healing ask jesus woman thou art loose first when you are loose then he laid hands on her he said now you, your body can participate but the real thing is the bondage in the spirit are we together now yes anything you see in your family that is not only you that is suffering you need to stand for them today oh. 
If you are the only one having it, it may just be you're not understanding your this and that, but provided you are not the only one. No. Your grandmother was raped by a stupid man. Your mother was raped by a stupid man. You, you were raped by a stupid man. Must you wait until your daughter is raped? You stand up and say, in the name of Jesus, someone paid your grandmother's dowry and ran away. They paid your mother's dowry and ran away. Now somebody is wanting to pay your dowry and, and run away. You stand and say, Lord, this must end. Look, let me tell you, nothing changes until men get angry enough to say, Lord, it must stop. Are we together? Yes, it must stop. How about finances? Look at me. There are some of you here, I don't mean to insult you and I don't mean to embarrass you, but let me tell you the truth. Until God does something to your hand, money will never stay in your hand i'm not talking about money you can be as intelligent as whatever i'm telling you it takes more than a good transaction to keep this thing because money like a human being has a spirit a soul and a body the spirit of money is mammon or the holy spirit there has to be a controlling factor the soul of money is the the, the intellectual system that brings the exchange, the body of money is the physical thing you are holding. So if all you are holding is just the physical thing, you are a joker. There is a spirit that can call what is in your hand and it will leave you. It's true. So the devil sees that this family wants to call upon the name of the Lord and make sure that everybody remains poor. Can I tell you this? And I don't mean to insult you, but more than 60% of the people seated here, your major prayer point, corporately as a family, is, oh God, let your heavens be open so that your supplies can come. There may be other things, but you will prefer supplies a thousand times than your leg that is paining you to be, to be fine. There is an agenda. I've shared with you my vision. I will continue to share it. Years ago, I was praying. I think I was, uh, I can't remember what was happening. And then my, my ceiling just disappeared. I didn't see a building again. And the next thing I looked and I saw a giant creature, mighty creature, the eyes as big as the head of a man. And then it was, it looked like a dinosaur. But the tail had its own life. Meaning you could disconnect the tail from the body and it would still be in existence. And it was just fuming with red eyes looking at me. And saying, so you think you can bring God's people into abundance. That was the end. That was when I agreed that prosperity is spiritual. If all you have is a contract, you are joking. If all you have is a shop, well done, but you are in trouble. If all you have is a good business, you heard the testimony of this dear um, wonderful man that came from Koza that just shared here now. Estates and everything just given. No. It's not just a man that gave him. There is a spirit behind it. You need to be empowered to fail. I hope you know that when you are failing consistently, there is an anointing making that happen. An anointing is simply an empowerment. Everybody hates you. You are supposed to bless me. As soon as I come, you hate me. I now go here and I'm too late. It's not normal. When the coincidences are too accurate, there is a spirit making it happen. Someone calls you and says, please come. Let me give you something to pay the rent of your family. The moment that statement happens, the devil makes sure that the man receives a call that is an emergency call. Are you seeing that now? And he leaves the office. You arrive at the office, you find out the door is locked. He says, if the young man comes, just give him 2,000 to go back. It's a lie. The man did not leave. Something happened. There is a spirit behind that operation. How many of you have gone to, to seek people over something that is so simple? Maybe just a signature and it will take two weeks three weeks you believe it's normal 
and then sometimes a man of god may pray for you and speak and you go back and the person who should not be there in the afternoon is now there he was not there an angel kept him there this is how this kingdom operates your destiny helper the destiny helper of your family can be two blocks away from you but because there is no spiritual connection my brother and my sister you can stay 15 years whereas the person ordained by God to lift you is just two blocks you will go to America and return back like a thief you will go to UK and return back like somebody that God hates but the day God decides to locate you you will be surprised is God speaking to us that's why we're here tonight you can be a man of God and like the gentleman who listened to discerning the body probably God has been telling you look your ministry will never grow until you receive a word of impartation and prophecy but you'll be surprised how you'll be planning for five years I will come for koinonia you will now say next week you will say Kai uh, ah I'm feeling cold let me just relax as soon as you want to travel your sister will just say ah, I just came on break let me tell you all those acting is a lie but there's something about the will of man the day you stamp your feet and say today I name today as my day of breakthrough the Bible said today if you hear his voice every day becomes your today until the day your faith says no tomorrow again it has to be today are we together so tonight I don't want you to sit down and waste your time you are hearing people testify my brothers and my sisters I tell you by the grace of God there is enough grace and power to turn your life to bring any it's not very difficult no it's just your connection stop the arguments the war that is happening in your head can God do this you can't leave Lagos leave the east leave the north and come and sit down you are wondering you believe that God brought you to waste your time no sir no sir I tell you in a moment in a twinkling of an eye oh can can the hepatitis go can this go we're talking God here we're not talking the the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital the God of heaven can that yoke go we are nine people in our family apostle nobody has a job it's not about the job the devil has seen that in the job of those nine people is the bread of maybe 30 children those nine people the money from those nine people will empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man and for the sake of that mighty man those nine people will remain poor it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say i've tried ah but there's a song that says satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> We make our boast in the Lord. In the next few minutes, we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place. Let me tell you. First of October, we'll let, we'll let the devil know what is in Nigeria. He has tasted what is in America, what is in Russia, what is in this. And then you see your life change. A miracle is a wonder. That, that the limit. Oh, hold his hands. Try to stop him. Two of you. You know that game they used to play? That you try. Oh, yeah. Do it now. You are, uh, don't, no, don't, don't draw him too much. Sorry. You are not very kind. Now, watch this. Are you seeing that now? This guy can be growing old every year. You are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life. Because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise. Let me tell you my assignment. This is me now coming into this equation. My, my assignment is not to cut what is there. My assignment is to carry this like this, this one. 
Because, you see, I can cut what is there and pass. You can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go. He's going to hold you and say, come back. Apostle has gone. So, the, the job has not been done. My assignment by the grace of God is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way. One, that's number one. That's not all. Then my assignment is to turn you to the direction. That's where prophecy is powerful. And then turn what would have come to you from that delay. If I leave you like this, you are not oppressed, but you, are, you still don't have breakthrough. You are free from oppression, but you have not entered your inheritance. So you can't testify. But whatever that is, when it comes to you and you go to it, and then I leave you, my job is to... And, and the thing is that all these things happen through words. The word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance. And then by next week, you are coming with an employment letter and you are on your knees saying, God, what is this? What is this? Then two weeks later, five people, all barren in your family, are saying, ah, I, I, I think I'm pregnant. Then you just remember, ah, what has happened? A man of God that you have space for 500 people in your church, and yet you see 10 people, 15. During a convention, they grow to 30. By the time service is finishing, there's 20 back. And all of a sudden, something happens. And one speck, spectacular miracle happens by the next Sunday in a way that even the critics say I'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said I never believed I would buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing God brought you here to change your life listen to me I repeat God brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no this is a miracle service a miracle service is not a teaching service i will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but you need to carry something that ends every argument result my brothers and my sisters is the end of every argument I can lie to you or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square and I can argue because I'm not seeing it but if you bring out a pocket square and I see it this is the end of the argument it would be stupid to still argue at that point you will let everybody know you are a madman this is the result could it be that you have been talking too much let the anointing talk I, I, will, I will build the house I know God is faithful I will do this and God is saying no Moses only spoke small and then the rod kept talking you have been talking forever some of you you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that God will give you you stood before the Red Sea for forever it refused to part but God brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you my brothers and my sisters that that red sea will part and you will call your family and say finally we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two there is a dimension of glory only your results can bring to him don't ever let anyone fool you hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 this is how i am glorified galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says and they glorified god in me not that they glorified god on the throne they looked at my life they saw that god can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you're a man of god I used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what God can do if it is the Lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes. for as long as your life is ordinary your ministry is ordinary your business is ordinary 
you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain let me tell you God takes away shame from our lives by giving us results did you hear what I said God does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody he does something in your life and he does it in a way like Julius Berger will build a house and put B God will do it and put his signature they'll say no this business cannot be human I hear testimonies of people every time the things that God does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open no don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time whether you are outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online whatever nation you are following just listen I believe him I may not claim I know everything about him but this God when God decides to stand up from his throne he said now arise from your throne God can stand up have you heard that the earth is his footstool so when he decides to stand up and say who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming the Bible says even the mountains keep like lambs my God is mighty our own belief many times is the reason why God does not move we come and sit down and pile up some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful but you are there wondering can you move oh God concerning my money can you move concerning my money can you move concerning my health can you move concerning my wife and God is saying yes I can I am willing and I'm able and then the devil comes very quickly and says if God could move did the man of God pray for you in by March didn't your pastor fast seven days for you and you say it's true oh, that's the devil tonight your faith must be open your faith must rise to the heavens to say Lord I don't want to leave this place just knowing I'm blessed I want to know what happened to me I want to hold a substance God is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and say ah were you blessed oh my God miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that I left this place what happened the pain is gone I left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting God for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of God touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you are saying my God I've gotten this Elisha knew when he got it Elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the Lord God of Elijah and the river parted you are trusting God for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying, I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night I couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen Philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if I ask this gentleman to give me water I'm expectant I'm not expecting a handkerchief I'm expecting water anything I see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from God thank God for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint Lord I left Lagos this morning and I came here 
I left Bielsa and I came here. My car almost had an accident. Lord, I would have been in a convention now as a man of God. I left it to be here. I'm looking for something. Let something come from heaven. And your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven. And all of a sudden, boom, I tell you, in one minute, I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade, there were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore, whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba. I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came, I knew that I got it. I knew that I got it. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, you can know that the load has been lifted. You can know that the prayer has been answered. You can know that the project is a done deal. Are we together? The grace is here. More than available for you. And whilst we begin to pray, don't just watch others receive. Be sensitive. You are the one who knows what you are here for. Are we together? In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and cry. Mention specifically, why are you here? Talk to the Lord. Please pray. Please pray. Pray with all your heart. Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service. Just listening to a message and all of a sudden the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family. That pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. My loved ones are not born again. Lord, I can't watch them go to hell like this. Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. Three, 
creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change jesus one more time creator creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus i want you to see the lord lifting your burden you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change jesus you are able great and mighty god you are able I will continue to read it for you. Isaiah chapter 61. Please give it to us. The messianic prophecy. Jesus' own manifesto. He's saying, this is what I came to do. Isaiah 61. It says, the spirit of the Lord. We are reading from verse 1 to 4. Is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound, verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. Three. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. For And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair waste cities, he says. The desolations of many generations. I like you to pray. Whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family, insist that tonight is the night when it will happen. Overflow one, pray. Overflow two, overflow three by the roadside. Those following from around the world, open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord just showed me something like a train. You know, a speed train, not like we have it now. Just like a train, just pass like this. And I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed. Listen. We are going to pray now. And 
like I always say, you'll find out when I pray, you're going to see people running around in and out. Please just guide them and bring them out. Ushers, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers can only do so much. I want to pray. Once I pray that prayer, listen, please, I don't want you to get, listen, please, hold on. I don't want, it, the idea is not about people falling down, carrying them. Please, let your spirit be open. Be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow One. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer are in Overflow One, the Overflow outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in Overflow One, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at Overflow One outside. Now, listen. When there is no speed in your life, listen. Imagine that I have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and I'm tiptoeing on one leg. Am I moving? Yes, sir. But when will you arrive there? The pressure that you will mount on this leg, it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it. And so God, when he wanted Elijah to move, because he had already been delayed, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is, I'm ready to shift you. That within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done. Three days. This powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years. It happened in three days. By the end of three days, Jesus had ascended, poured his blood, returned back. He was ready. He was now to launch the church. Big things don't have to take plenty time. When the hand of God comes upon you, you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. I want to pray. I will do the praying. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to shout Jesus, not you now. I'm the one shouting Jesus. I'm going to shout it and at the third time, I tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of God. Let me have those people out. Lord, you are bringing speed to your people. And I know that there are angels all around. It's time to change people's levels. And even as you have instructed me, oh God, as I declare that name that is above every other name, I pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position, that in the name of the God of heaven, an anointing will shift that person into his destiny. Jesus, that's number one. Mm. Jesus, that's number two. Get ready now. Shabalakata. Jesus. Let that anointing right now. I shift men. Speed. Kabarakatosha. Speed to your life. Oh God, let every delay be broken now. I command the spirit of delay. Be broken. Speed. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help that woman. Please help that mama there. Shakatoka tabarakata. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you 
there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost Lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just, just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please I'm praying For some of you now, it's the same prayer, but it's no longer just for you. You may not be experiencing it, but your family needs speed. The anointing now is moving from individuals to families. Lord, where are the families that need the shift of the Holy Ghost? I decree and declare right now, I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Families be shifted now. Speed, speed, speed. Speed, Kaparakoto Shegeta, Eprekete I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. Shapakatokatabalakatosh. No more delay. I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the Lord is shifting you that lady in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of Jesus now all those in front I'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three I speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 I lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth. yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive I want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold I give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but I want to pray a dangerous prayer I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names I declare every spirit that has caged any family here I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and at the count of three 
everyone shout Jesus as you shout Jesus I see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to live now one two three in the name of Jesus I crush Satan I crush his works inside outside I command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus, lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I'd like you to pray. Everyone praying. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone praying everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of jesus hear me the lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as i pass here i don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now i stretch my hands right right now it's over over now Shakos Katanika, a ghetto Santa Ricata, a brecato Seketa, a Katoshe Kriaka, Manta Brecotos. Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I cause it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I cause it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here i want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow two please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there as soon as i come close to you except god is not god if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now i command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now, release them, release them, release them. Every covenant, release them. I break that power now, 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 now. Be 
broken hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i didn't know we have an extra overflow here i want to pray for those by the side here as i stretch my hands to you please don't waste your time i'm seeing fire already here in the name of jesus at the count of three those of you by the roadside one two let them go by the power of the holy ghost i release you please help them so they don't injure themselves i declare i decree and i declare you are free Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing, in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in overflow three. Shaprakato shekete skaba emprakato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow three. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata brekatish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you I speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 go
go let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah i'm inside this place now and i'm standing in the spirit i've not started impartation yet but the lord is showing me the number 12 and the lord is saying there are 12 people here there is a strong call upon your life there is a mighty anointing lord where are they Shakatos kapakarikata. drink of that wine mantekatos kateketa shaprakata a ministry of signs and wonders ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders i'm still praying the anointing of the spirit is still locating men i don't know why god is talking about ministry the call don't run away from the call don't run from the call a ministry of signs and wonders the lord is telling someone you are the liberator of your family a ministry of signs 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 there are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing i'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and i stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what god is doing main auditorium i'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive i decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen i'm seeing oh my god the lord is opening my eyes here i'm i'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh here please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ hold my hands my dear the power of idols in the name of jesus i break that force now i break that force now i break the force now testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Zakuske paura katuzeketa, ende keleka toska de brakata, rakas kude po shaba hasiyakata, embreketesh. I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of God will come upon you and God is going to open your eyes. You are going to see victory and deliverance. In fact, I see a family where three of your siblings, they've married. None of them has a child. None of them at all has a child. They've done everything to do, but there's no child. But I stand in the name of the Lord. Father, where are those families? Right now, like a mighty wind. Shakos like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you my dear hold my hands to you I'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life I decree and I declare it over your life I stand by the anointing and I pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of Jesus Emeka, who is Emeka? Emeka, I'm hearing a name Emeka, Overflow 3 here. I'm just talking to Overflow 3 people. Emeka, Emeka, please quickly, please quickly, don't waste our time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray, what do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place, you came for NYSE. I want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh i want you to believe it 
but every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy all of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree i'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as i'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Hallelujah. please everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray hold on there's someone here the lord is saying i'm rolling away your shame i'm seeing light as i was just passing i just saw light two people let the anointing find those people now two people right now i decree overflow two right now in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Gabriel 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 I'm hearing a name who is Gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan Gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do I know you lift your hands my brother God is about to change your life God is about to turn your life around uh, where are you coming from I want to pray for you you love Jesus what is is it Oleku or Aleku what is that huh? Huh? where are you from Benway State you are from Benway State this is what has tied down your life and your family I want to pray for you I'm not a herbalist eh? father in the name of Jesus let this gentleman be free right now I command that devil to leave you now just keep him there in the name of Jesus these two people this gentleman you yes and the lady by you come quickly please low 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory what do you do my friend you are a student you love Jesus I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, Are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on you. Husband and wife? Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? hear what I'm telling you huh? my, uh, my sister you know what I'm saying right huh? so your friends huh? confirm sir listen to me you are not truly born again if your friends don't change hear it from me all this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends if if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together I'm close to a drunkard that means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So, my friend, you love God, eh? But you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. 
huh? don't be embarrassed when i make the altar call you need to run and come quickly jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to just for no 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 Let, let's take god serious and take him look what i see my friend i see god turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail god may be calling you to a great ministry but you will hear a counsel that would destroy god's purpose over your life i pray for everyone here that in the name of jesus if you are under the yoke of wrong friends i stand and i speak right now may the lord set you free this night in the name of jesus christ my dear there is favor on your life but it's not speaking at all hmm? you're a nice lady come i'm looking at you i'm seeing a young lady but i'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married i will now advise him and say mr man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch so god is you see that god is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision i already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that i look at this lady now and say my dear, you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart i already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean i enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen i'm doing well in business but just because i married this lady i start going down and now you meet a man of god and if the man if you're in ministry here please be careful you have to trust god for grace to be balanced are we together i can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah halushia kaprahasku de bakatuskia i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus i command this devil i'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now my dear i set you free and i open the door of favor for you right now please everybody lift your hands i'm seeing i've not seen this in a long time i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing an anointing going to benway state 
Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus. The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of Jesus hold my hands I decree and declare be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit madam I don't know you but ah, you please come ah. this is your first time coming I need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma huh i'm looking at you and i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed i hope i'm not embarrassing you i want to pray for you i give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you i lay my hands right now and I declare, I'm seeing chains leaving you. I command those chains to go. Father, turn her life around. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Hold on. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. I open that closed door now. I open that closed door now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray. The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now, I uproot it now, I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest. I served, my father served and died. And Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Elori. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus. Let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus. Every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man. But I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you? Your dad? Your father is a priest. Currently? Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus hi jesus power is really superpower really superpower that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can leave 
out now everything that is not of god a father is a priest or not an uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes You are receiving the healing anointing now in the name of jesus christ lord grant him access to the healing anointing your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this this because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with god your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of jesus i take away distraction from her life right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i take away distraction i take away distraction okay we have we've not even prayed for the sequel my dear come this lady waving your hands come quickly your life is about to change come where are you coming from you are coming from abuja i'm here with my husband husband where are you sir let's clap for the husband Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. But at the same time, I do business. But it's sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry, ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time. Are you a man of God? Stand up. Stand up. Take that anointing now. In the name of Jesus, you step into a new dimension. I take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry. From today, you step into a realm of signs, wonders, miracles. In the name of Jesus. Can I pray for you, sir? Look at me. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Just hold it with both of your hands. In the name of Jesus, I transfer grace, signs and wonders, strange testimonies, your business, between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh oh, oh. you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh i'm seeing you like this and i'm seeing a load on your head and if i don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you i want to pray for you where are you coming from are you new here uh, by elsa by elsa hmm. all the way i think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. Came together, You're an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. 
you were in Abuja and then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio and then. Oh, you do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things one, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady, this one, this one, this lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator, the same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace. Drink of that wine, sir. I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership, the grace for finance. But I'm, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. Sir, what am I seeing? This is somebody, it's, it's not directly the government. But this is somebody that is connected to the government. The Lord is going to connect him to you. It's, it has something to do with supplies. That thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you. Please write it. You will see it happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. That anointing. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same. I stretch my hands. I take away every limitation from your life. And I decree and I declare your life turns around from today in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness, 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 goodness. Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus. Be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus. Go! Now! In the name of Jesus. You go and write your test. Bring back your results. Go. Listen. I, can we? Time is gone. Oh dear. You see how sometimes this thing, we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal. Maybe I will just pray. I will just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the 
healing power of God, very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now. I pray for you. The power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies, but since we have chosen this method now, as soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly, please. Lay your hands now. I want to pray. Jesus. A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Be healed, my God. The power of God is touching people already. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three by the roadside. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now I command every blood condition. Be healed from it now in Jesus' name. Peptic ulcer. The Lord is healing ulcer right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lumps. All kinds of lumps. Multiple lumps. I command those devilish lumps to live now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis. The Lord is healing hepatitis right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Eye conditions. In the name of Jesus. You're going to feel fire just come to your eyes. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear 
and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are Zzz, that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside i'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our facebook page or you can find a way to post it i want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and i'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, hold on, just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can healed. you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people. And I want you to make your way and then come to. Okay, go ahead, Pastor Alpha. My God, the... God is still touching people. I'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three. Overflow three. Check yourself right now and make your way. Yes, please. You go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain. She's been having the problems this last month, back but pain. she's healed now. How long come, my dear? Let's have another mic, please. Anytime we're doing this, please, technically, it should be a standard procedure. You should know what we're doing, please. So that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck Check it now. You'll be surprised to find out it's gone. Gone completely. Gone completely. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Gone completely. In Jesus' name, I declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in Jesus' name. Give Jesus praise. Deafness in the left ear since 2012. Since 2012. Oh, come on, Koinonia. How long, my friend? A man of God told me about it in 2012 when I prayed, but I was hearing those B sounds. And I don't hear really. Which of them? put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes also you mentioned also how long yes. okay where are you from kaduna, sir. kaduna state yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin no, biologically biologically where no, are you from i'm from each Patakot. i mean i'm from state of there's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where? Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you, eh? 
Father, help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now and I declare be free in Jesus' also, name. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, God but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the, the lower back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain. Yes, it's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. It never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. I ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? Seven. 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow too overflow two the overflow by the roadside so you bring the person the name of jesus perfection for you right now in jesus name she's had serious um, back pain that back she pain had to start horse riding so that you can correct but today they asked you to ride a gone. horse yes who said you should ride a horse the doctor or just advisors <laughs> don't, don't <listen>. she's shy <laughs> the horse this is the man. It's amazing how you come for Koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry, do your horse thing, eh? I'm just happy that you are healed. So you can go and ride your horse now for fun. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected in Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they will hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. She's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating. That resulted in serious back pain. How Came old are you now? Pain this evening. Sir? How old are you now? 21. 21? And she's had severe menstrual pain? Yes. And she came here with the pain today. But Don't the pain believe is gone. that thing. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I cancel it forever. Amen. Say amen. amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as you prayed for her, 
He totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's the heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Huh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card. Eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her okay. and watch what happens in your life. Yes. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer peptic ulcer as she prayed for her she was totally peptic healed. ulcer how long put your hand on your chest in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare peptic ulcer goes back to hell in the mighty name of jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Feel, press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. Come on, Koinonia. May God forgive you. May God... You people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that... God bless you. He had a sharp pain in his left side. Okay. You mentioned it. And then he also used to experience dizziness. That he would just be standing, be dizzy and then slump. But as you prayed for him, he was totally you just slump like that? Yeah, they may even have to catch it. It happened once, August. August 26th. You just slumped like that? Yes, I was falling and then my brother caught me. Come. What if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire? The devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge. Then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. In Jesus' name I set you free. You are free now. You are free forever. In Jesus' name. Back pain disappeared. He's had back pain for a long time. Back pain, gone. sir? Yes. In Jesus' name, let it go and go forever. Never to return again. In Sometimes the two eyes go blind. Other times only the right one go blind. But now he's totally healed. He can see with both eyes. Have you gone to the hospital for this? But sometimes you just go blank like that. Come. In the name of Jesus, put your hands on your eyes. I decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. He's had back pain for a long time. He's healed now. Back pain. You see, God is, when there are messages behind miracles, you see that God is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation. It's not just the bones are what give structures to a person, doctors tell us. That means that by this miracle, God is speaking through it, right? Like he's doing the miracle of Ezekiel 37. The bones coming back. It took the bones to come back for an army to rise. Therefore, I'm praying that everything that is out of order, out of joint, out of place in your life, by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles, let there be a restoration of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Go ahead. So, back pain. He came here with waist pain. Sorry. Waist pain. He came here with How long? serious pain. 2014 and now he's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah. it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in jesus name apostle you mentioned so he's laughing that, uh, until he fell under the anointing a buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear yes, oh okay you mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound all through but as you mentioned it it's gone now what's your name sir yeah since 2014 for the past four years it's gone completely give totally jesus praise here. in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare by the power of god never 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 returns to you again Apostle, her left hand the middle finger she couldn't bend it at all she has gone for treatment she couldn't bend it which at one all. the middle finger long how long last year why couldn't you bend it i don't know I bend it now let them see it look at this and then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain she also had as you were praying right now as she came for the testimony the menstrual pain also left let it go back to hell Amen. and never come to you again in the name of jesus christ she had weak 
your father's salvation ah we are experts in praying for salvation here you need to find out how god saves people here when you, it's not that god saves them it's how he saves them that is a sign and a wonder i was preaching the series on um reality of heaven and hell and there was one malam he came for koinonia he was seated outside and while i was praying he, he was studying his, 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 his let me study your hierarchy or what he was studying something like that and then all of a sudden he just i mean koinonia just disappeared and he saw a vision of heaven outside overflow one and the lord jesus was talking to him that's how the guy got born again remember years ago the gentleman that came here that gentleman that belonged to a cult group you you know the the guy that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place as soon as i climbed here all that the guy saw was i hope he's still in christ but as far as <laughs> yes the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power and so when he was here and saw power he said ah, there's power here whether it's demonic power or god's power there's really power here in the name of jesus there is grace that saves men we declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ God bless witness you. was still when we take the last person that would be also that we can yes, in please. overflow three witness overflow three. Body pains. so as you went outside and you minister ah, she fell under god the power visited of god. overflow three today oh this miracle service was for overflow three as she fell under the power she stood up perfectly whole. completely it's gone in the name of jesus it never returns to you again yes please go ahead she said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine but and as you prayed come my dear in the name of jesus christ it goes here can her body is even hot you can see that her body is ill cough she, but everything is in the name of jesus christ it goes forever next person okay. please he's had um, back pain for a while during the seven days fasting program yes he was healed but yesterday the symptoms came back but right now he has been permanently healed. what was the issue sir back pain back pain come you see that you see the, the thing again i'm telling you miracles are messages in jesus name back pain goes and goes forever yes she's please. had serious kata since 2010 that lasted for three years is it that kata and came back again but right now she's completely healed completely healed put your hand on your chest lord jesus let this lady be perfected now perfected forever i bring you the anointing of the holy ghost forever healed forever perfected and the lord is saying i should tell you he's bringing restoration restoration to your life in jesus now name. he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there yes while he stood up from there to come here the symptoms disappeared that's number one because god will always honor faith come my friend then the second thing was that he had this chest pain he had done his ecg scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension drugs but while he stood here the pains disappeared the heaviness left hypertension back to sender back to the devil that sent it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen yes please. her grandfather died of this ulcer pain her father has it her sister has it and then she's also seeing the symptoms but tonight when the case was mentioned she was completely healed you see this these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person grandfather died of it you said father has it father has it mother sister has, sister has, has it. it yes aunties yes everybody has it most of my aunties my my younger sister my dad just all of us like where are you from delta state in the name of jesus a beautiful lady the devil should not rubbish your destiny i cancel this yoke not just over your life but over your family in the name of jesus is gone now and gone forever in jesus you name. mentioned back pain apostle she came for personal prayers last week just on her own personal um, prayers as she was going back she felt like an arrow was shot in her back since last week she has been having that pain but as you mentioned it, hold the my pain hands in the name of jesus look at me look at me shout jesus jesus yes she please. had this pain in her chest and her stomach she suspected it our was lovely usher, you can imagine how hard how 
wonderful, okay? She, she was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything your hand just on your left chest. in her stomach. In the and name of Jesus Christ, I command that that devil goes back to hell. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. Now, everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand. Oh, they're still. He's had a very mysterious headache, heaviness that just disappeared now, as he mentioned the case. In the name of Jesus, come, my friend. It never returns to you again. Every other person that has been touched by the power of God, we declare perfection for your body now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, I want you to stretch. I want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request stretch your hands and i want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost father in the name of jesus we pray over this request we decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost lord let impossible situations please make sure everybody's request is here let impossible situations go Please agree by faith as you pray while laying our hands on this request. In the name of Jesus, Shakos Father, in the name of Jesus, this is a representation of the faith of your people. You are the God that answers prayers. I ask, oh God, that you arise. Arise in power, arise in majesty, arise in grace. In the name of Jesus, turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around. Hallelujah. I stand upon this request prophetically. And I agree with you. For some of you, the things you have written here, the truth is that only God can do them. There's no man born of a woman that can do it. In fact, if you read some of the things for us, even us who God has helped will have to doubt and say, ah, but thank God that the request is unto God. Father, we present before you this request. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies. They are supernaturally turned to testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please stand if you can. And receive the last prophecy and impartation. I will continue to speak over your life. And I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until, until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said. Therefore, please, I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit. There is a lady you have been seeing. You have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of jesus i'm praying for those people first i command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah i'm praying for someone else i don't know why god is interrupting me now there is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you i'm saying once you go to bed somebody must come to molest you whether it's a man whether it's a woman 
whether it's an animal that must happen to you you get up and physical things begin to be misplaced i'm praying right now for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of jesus now i pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you i pray for you i stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names i prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore i speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire break through fire let it come upon you now in the name of jesus now i speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic i shift you to the next level of your life please believe it i shift you to the next level of your life for all those in business here and you're trusting god to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow i stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business and lift you to a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every helper that must show up between now and october miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by god i pray for you and i connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of jesus christ i connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of jesus christ listen every family here that is saying lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives i'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barren or you are connected to anyone you know trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name of jesus we release their miracle children now I'm praying for anyone here trusting God for a job you are trusting God for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus I agree with you that between now and October miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor the favor that can turn your life overnight around i decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around <laughs> hallelujah now i want you to say amen to this prayer that i want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will kick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing 
come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when God wants to help you he will carry Joseph and put in him an ability to interpret Pharaoh's dream Joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison i pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now I agree with you whether I uniquely mentioned your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands and i agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony hallelujah The grace for prosperity, the grace for favor, the grace for speed, the grace for spiritual fire, the grace for influence. Watch this. Access to the hearts of men. This is you. This is your destiny. And the Bible says the way we advance is that we need to be in touch with all graces, not some. I can have the grace for prosperity and I'm rich, but I suffer, but I succeed. You are rich but no man helps you because you don't have favor you only have prosperity the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men if you do not have access to the hearts of men you don't have favor you may have resources so this guy has prosperity so he will labor wake up in the morning sleep late in the night eat the bread of sorrow mix it with hard work and eventually prosper but as far as spiritual fire is concerned the grace that plants in a man the hunger and the passion for the things of god is not in him so that grace is not there he has some but not all and the part the grace dimension he does not have the deficiency of it will show in his life he is getting richer but not as his soul prospers this is the grace he needs when you pray and intercede for this man now god will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of god that has this dimension so that in addition it will be added to him are we together now now listen very carefully please look up everybody so god is one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of god continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been 
it has been edited through a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god it's not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you traveled from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think is the spirit of revelation it's not revelation it's speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation To know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we are going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left 
and write forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray let there be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please restoration now i speak it by the spirit the power of god is still coming on people recover recover by the spirit recover i stretch my hands recover by the power of prophecy recover recover years lost recover opportunities recover in the mighty name of jesus I decree and declare God is bringing recovery let me tell you you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow I speak to you may that grace come upon you now again recovery 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 restoration I want to take authority over the spirit of delay I'm seeing many people your feet is chained in the spirit you want to make progress but you cannot make progress fire is falling from heaven now i decree and declare inside outside all the overflows anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains one two three i break those chains now be free now from delay be free now be free now be free now i will hasten my word to perform it i will not just perform it i will give speed to my word the word is quick and powerful i declare again any family here any individual under the yoke of delay i speak to you by the spirit that yoke is broken now that yoke is broken now broken by the spirit hallelujah now i want to pray please listen i have prayed this prayer and for those of you who have missed it in time past, may God grant you the grace to receive it now. Listen, truly speaking, there is a grace for speed. Please hear me. A man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of God to be birthed. Some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life. It's not enough to rebuke delay. You must obtain the grace for speed. And watch this. I'm about to pray for people now and that anointing is coming on people as usual you find people running by the spirit but I need to release that anointing father I stand under heaven in this miracle service there are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family that dimension of speed where ten years can be put in one year I declare right now let it come upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now speed parush kabarakata speed career speed I give speed to your life speed to ministry receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now speed
Hello, give Madonna. Hallelujah. Mommy, please look at me, ma. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know you, but I'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family. Where are you coming from, madam? Madam, I'm looking at you. I'm seeing River State. Where are you from? States. Huh? States. River State. Yes, sir. The Lord says I should tell you that from this night, things will change in your life. She's your mother. Help that woman, please. I'm looking at the Lord in the spirit. I'm putting my hand inside a river and I'm bringing something out and the Lord says it's the destiny of this family. In the name of Jesus, that's the daughter. I command by the spirit, every planting that is not of the Lord, I overturn and I uproot now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Naomi? I'm hearing a name, Naomi. We have to hurry up. I want to pray for the sick. Naomi. Hello, Kim Madonna. Ah, hello. The Naomi I'm talking about is outside. Where are you coming from? Come, stand. Your name is not Naomi. Is your name Naomi? What's your name? Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? UP. From where? I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I cancel CS. By the spirit of the living God. And I decree and declare. Like the Hebrew women you will give birth. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again. I correct what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. This is what doctors say. Baby is preached. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I correct it now. May you give birth normally like the Hebrew women. In Jesus name. Let me pray. Are you married? You are backing a baby. Where is the baby? I'm looking at you in a vision. That's why I'm saying, oh, how can this? You know, I'm saying, you came to Koinonia. You are backing a baby outside. This is the vision. I'm... You are not getting what I'm saying. Is this? You were backing this baby when I mentioned your case. Huh? Were you backing a baby? That's why I'm saying, are you married? Because you look too small to be a married woman. This is the real person I want to pray for. Bring this little baby. God is, I don't know whose child is this. Your child. But God, this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God. She looks like a little girl. In the name of Jesus. What's her name? Nicole. Nicole. She may not know what we are doing, but we stand in the presence of the people of God. We anoint this lady. May she become a Deborah to her generation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pray for you. Where are you from? Kogi State. I want to pray for you. Ah. Immediately she mentioned Kogi State. I saw what I used to see now. Now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State. Kogi State. I'm praying now. It's a sign and wonder. Every time I see that, if you are from that locality, the power of God comes on you immediately. In the name of Jesus, I command witchcraft associated with that territory. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Who is Magdalene? Magdalene. 
my dear come in the name of Jesus Christ I anoint you there is grace you look young but you are going to be a mother to many this is what I'm saying in the name of Jesus may the Lord anoint you and make it so my dear I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now release her I'm seeing chains on you I declare by the spirit release this lady now I'm about to minister deliverance shortly release her now in the name of Jesus please bring someone in overflow too now a lady the power of God is coming upon that lady now as I speak overflow too mighty fire of God is coming please bring her quickly we have to save time in the name of Jesus I pray for you come my dear the grace that will want to make married men disturb you look at me I come against that spirit now not only you there are five other people I'm seeing I don't know where they are but in Jesus name there is a like like it like an almost like an evil anointing that makes only married people to look for you Parus Kamana Hashileketa in the name of Jesus by the God of heaven I lift that negative thing off your life now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I hear the name Magdalene I don't know if Magdalene I want to pray very quickly we have to pray for the sick you are the covenant keeping God as you can Jesus. I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God I'm seeing your feet in mud in the name of Jesus I lift you out of this tragedy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I speak to this lady I'm seeing this lady but all I'm seeing is snakes completely I declare be free now by the spirit of the living God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost let me pray for you my dear grace for you the favor that is on your life I command it to start speaking it will not only be a name that is on you it will speak right now in Jesus name your sister your name is Magdalene come in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you Look at me. The Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life. These two things. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Please stand up. I speak to you by the God of heaven. The month of November, a big miracle is coming to your life. A big miracle. I lay my hands upon you and I declare in the name of Jesus, be free right now. Why is this girl here? This Magdalene? come my dear I pray for you place your hand on your head I declare oh God let this chain be taken now I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head be removed now be removed this like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity I remove it right now in the name of Jesus Christ somebody lay your hands on her so anybody just touch her release her now by the spirit of God there's no place for you take everything that belongs to her restore it and go now now please listen I want to minister deliverance please believe it you may not know the woman from Kenya come it's time for God to change your life please stand up when did you come here uh, yesterday yesterday yes. you came here God is about to turn your life around Amen. Glory. you are still coming 
and you are coming with four people the next time you are coming. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Madam, what do you do? Madam, what do you do? I'm a commissioner for human rights. Commissioner for human rights yes. in Nairobi. Yes. In, in two weeks, I'm going to be in your nation. I would like to see you in your nation. There is a reason why I'm talking. I'm not seeing you alone. I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for. Yes. But I want to pray for you, madam. Because I don't know if you believe it or not. You have a political destiny. As you are like this looking at me. You have a political destiny in Kenya. And God by his spirit is going to make this happen. But another thing is there is also the call of God upon your life. You are a woman that loves God. There is is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace. But you will get to a point where among the graces God will give you is the grace to pray for barren women. Notice this grace. God is going to bring this grace upon you. God, I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation. There is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build. I'm seeing foodstuff. And I'm seeing different things. First, it will have to do with young girls, people who have been abused and so on. But I see it not only that, I see women too. Women. God is going to increase your influence. I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the Spirit, carry this grace. Go to Kenya with it. Go and excel. I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go with this anointing. Go and prosper. May the Lord multiply your political career. And may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An angel of the Lord is standing here. Someone will shout here under a strong anointing. I just saw that grace. I don't know. First, I think until the shout happens, I know why God, just from here right to the back, there is an anointing. I just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of God here. Now, listen, whether you know it or not, if there is anything influencing your, your destiny that is not of the Christ, it's about to give way right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the count of three, hear me. Whether you are inside, outside, or following online, I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding. It's not just a chant. My Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not a weak tower. The righteous run it to it and they are saved. I want to pray for you. I know you've shouted in other months, but great deliverance, great deliverance is about to come your way. Father, I pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the Christ that is sitting on the destinies of men and women manipulating their results I stand and call upon the God of Jeshurun the one that rides upon the wings and I declare let there be deliverance at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three them out be free now overflow one overflow two overflow three all the extension online I declare be free now from ancestry be free from foundation be free from witchcraft bring them out Paru Salikata Embrekete Barata Operations of darkness. I'm seeing a womb. Like the drawing of a woman's womb. And I'm seeing it close. It doesn't just mean physical barrenness. It means a spirit that is closing the door of results. Many people cannot get results. But right now that door is about to open. And I stand by the God of heaven. By the fire of the Holy Ghost everyone's destiny that has been closed so that it will not find manifestation at the count of three let it be open one two three be open now be open now be open now be 
open now. Be open now. Be open now. finances. Listen to me. Please, I want you to believe it. There is a grace for finances and it's coming on many people. I'm not asking you what you are doing. I'm not asking you what you know. I'm telling you what God is doing. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare Father, the men and women that must enter into this dimension as you are showing me at the count of three, may that grace rest upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. A strength grace for abundance. Receive supply from heaven. Supply by the Spirit. Parush Kalipa. Let things walk in a way that will surprise you. I command things to work in a way that will marvel you. Haru Salikatash. Mighty God. A few minutes, we are going to pray for the sick now. Now, please listen. I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one. That's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining. It's just a revelation that God is giving me. There are two angels standing by my left and my right. 
and every time I see this God wants me to move listen hear me except God is not God when I pass any road where you are anything that does not name the name of the Christ and any dimension that is not of God in your life it must give way now I only do this for this and overflow one afterwards we are going to pray for the sick please I want you to just believe I don't know why God does these things but I want you to believe that he is mighty and that he will glorify himself father in the name of Jesus Christ glorify yourself change everything that needs to be changed many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions I want you to believe it I will pray not everywhere but there are a few people I'm seeing this happen by the Spirit I shift you in the Spirit every limitation that does not name the name of Christ I'm praying mantles anointings by the Spirit coming on people right now let that presence of God shift you to dimension in the name of Jesus dimension I'm seeing a chain around here I break that chain now I'm seeing a chain around here let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now break now Break now. Break now. Chains be broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, God is turning your life around. Where are you coming from? Kaduna State. In the name of Jesus. Break now. In the name of Jesus. Be free now from everything that is not of God. Be free now. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Parush I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now by the Spirit of the Living God. I break it now. Mama. I break it now. I break it now. Somebody, I'm sensing an evil spirit just around here. I come against you now. I take authority over that influence. You must go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Overflow one, lift your voice and pray in the spirit. Harusa Sigadesh. Now listen, please be your brother's keeper. You don't have to touch me. Please be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself. But as I pass here, anything that is not of God is about to give way right now. Thank you, Jesus. Go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. All times, I come against you now. In Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I'm still what looks like an altar right here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Harusa Sikete. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. The spirit of delay right here is breaking, breaking over someone's family. Be broken now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be broken now. Be broken now. Beauty and glory to your life in the name of Jesus. Now watch this. Listen, hold on please. Hold on please. I'm standing here and I'm seeing who is Rebecca. Rebecca, they call you Becky. 
Rebecca. Just not inside. Here you are. What's your name? Rebecca. Don't worry, it's okay. What's your name? Don't just come out if in the name of Jesus Christ, come. I end oppression now over your life and your family. Oh, you, my dear, your name is Rebecca. Where are you from? You are from are you from Makodi? Benway State. In the name of Jesus. I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people. That thing they call Aleku A L something K U. In the name of Jesus, I cast that spirit by the God of heaven. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit, you are from that region. I stand by the God of heaven. Let it come to an end now. Help them, please. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus. Hold on, please. Right here, there is a gentleman who will be mightily used by God. I just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know where they are. Paruska Badu Sheleketa. Let that grace come on you now. Strange mantle, prayer fire, word fire, illumination in the spirit. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. I'm standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay. I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven. Right now, let deliverance come now. Let it come now. I'm still moving. The hand of God is coming on people right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please, you don't have to touch me. In the name of Jesus, right here, financial stagnation comes to an end. An anointing is coming on someone for your family. Financial stagnation. Let it be over now. My dear, be free now. Out now. Someone here, the power of God is coming on that person. Be free now. Free from everything that is not of God. New dimension, new dimensions. I'm seeing an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on, please. I held someone's hand now, holding a photo of a sick patient. Where is she? Come. Who is this? Where is he? He's in China. What's wrong with him? He's depressed now. If I don't pray for him, I'm seeing him inside a coffin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, let there be deliverance for him now. What's his name? Ibrahim. This is not only something affecting him. This is something that is influencing the entire family. But I stand by the God of heaven and I set you free. In the name of Jesus, be completely free. And I speak to him, Ibrahim, may the power of God touch you and perfect you now and perfect you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick. My friend, this man looking at me, come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kogi State. What do you do? Are you a man of God? You came here trusting God for fresh fire. Come. You are about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. You, where is your church? Look at me, sir. Where you have a church? You are under a church. Mm. A time will come, God will give you your own work. Now, God is preparing you. Be faithful. You will go, but now is not the time. You live now, you will suffer for nothing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of God. But surely a time is coming, and you will walk in very strange dimensions of the anointing. Father, I lay my hands upon this man. Let his dealings with the spirit progress in the name of Jesus. Not only an impartation, a dealing 
that produces real power in the spirit in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ this lady with green this lady you come the Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you two things will happen to you number one I'm seeing restoration God is saying I should tell you he's bringing restoration number two I'm seeing the gift of men please do listen to my message help them on the gift of men God is bringing people strangely to lift you I lay my hands upon you and I pray may this grace be effectual carry that grace right now and you will start having visions visions God is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions in the name of Jesus this is very strange what I'm seeing except that I saw it I will not say it stop running away from the call you are a man of God's wife now I'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense stop running from the call you are the wife of a man of God a minister of the gospel the Lord will bring performance to his word this thing I tell you is a strange mystery the way God works but in the name of Jesus I place the word of God upon that prophecy it's time for you to not fight the will of God it's time for you to relinquish your own will in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord we are going to pray just one prayer point the Lord is asking me immediately we do that we'll pray for the sick and we'll start submitting our request where is that young lady that came out with one mama while I was praying for her there's a young lady that was wearing glasses I don't if if you are here you are the one what do you do you are going to be very wealthy come are you a lawyer huh this is your mother where are you coming from madam okay you are the reverse woman this lady you see is going to be extremely wealthy because I'm seeing you a lawyer and you are going to you I don't know what area of law you are going to specialize but I'm seeing you sitting with so many business people this is a lot of business people signing contracts helping people to process a lot of things millions huh? that's what that's where she is right now doing some things abroad she's what that's what she's doing right now where she works that's what she's doing now right now where she works because i'm seeing god will just cause them to like her it's not every man that is a foolish and a stupid man there are people who are out to genuinely bless yes sir. and i pray for your daughter and i connect her by the spirit amen in the name of jesus amen. she will find these people amen. and in the name of jesus she will shift her to another dimension amen mama god is saying i should tell you forgive does it make sense to you? Yes, my husband also is a lawyer, but your husband is a lawyer. Yes, yes. What was the issue? Nothing is happening. Don't worry, ma. Do you know why you fell under the anointing? You fell on behalf of all the troubles in your. It wasn't just your personal falling alone. There are times that you fall representing all of these troubles because this is not what I'm even saying. God is saying I should tell you to forgive forgiveness now it doesn't make sense and god has not given me an interpretation but let me tell you this you see look up the average person seated here has been hurt by someone whether friends are we together uncles relatives people you trusted and they betrayed you let me tell you something about unforgiveness unforgiveness is a terrible spirit is one of the master secrets to delay unforgiveness it will keep you in one place forever you are there angry and annoyed and most of what you'll be angry about is legitimate however you see forgiveness is a type of giving understand this forgiveness is still the, the giving grace that helps men to forgive the only thing with forgiveness is that you give in advance are we together the highest form of forgiveness is tolerance where you know it will happen again and you build a system around it to not hurt you 
we live in a society that is so hot conscious this one hurt me this one did this there are too many things that can create offense the bible says in nothing should you be offended it's a choice mama in the name of jesus please don't cry i don't know what it is and why you are crying but my dear comfort your mother after the prayer eh? in the name of jesus what is before you is greater than anything that has caused you pain and in the name of jesus forgive in the name of jesus forgive i also pray for someone here do you know there are many couples that have not been able to forgive one another in marriages it can last for 10 years 20 years same room same bed but that bitterness especially for the men we don't know that this might be the secret the bible says for dishonoring your wife the consequence is that your heavens will be closed it's not a lie that's why you see men struggle and struggle and simple things become hard because of the propensity for bitterness make up your mind in this miracle service that you will let go and not only forgive but tolerate i wish i can tell you there are some things your loved ones are doing that they will never do again but they will do it every time a door is about to open here offense comes it's a choice i will not be offended are we together father we pray for our daddy in the name of jesus the kind of miracle that god will do in the life of this man let it be so powerful that everybody around will know that this is the doing of the lord i decree it and i establish it in the name of jesus christ there is a gentleman here we are going to pray goodness you see how time just runs there's a gentleman here you are a member of mountain of fire where are you mountain of fire you are a serious brother mountain of fire now please I'm, I'm not just saying you attend don't listen to instructions please right mfm my friend you are serious you come from where mfm kano mfm kano how about yes, you Calabar. mfm calabar yes, how about you lagos lagos i want to pray i'm not saying if you are from mfm just come out like that they are particular people it doesn't matter what denomination you are from once you are here huh this is a universal this is a master key it will complement on what every grace and every man and woman of god is doing but i want to pray for you my friend i am going i'm first going to pray for you where are you from i'm from a state there is serious witchcraft sitting on your destiny yes, i hope sir. you are not embarrassed yes sir yes huh? sir you need help you have prayed stand up please you are a prayer warrior you can pray you can do fasting yes, huh sometimes you just need a grace to help you you hear what i tell you i'm going to pray for you if i don't pray for you i'm seeing the spirit of death start sweeping people in your family like that like play like play until it starts killing people but let me tell you don't despise yourself you need a lot of mentorship but you are going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of god this brother you see is very serious with god huh very serious with god you just need the right support impartations and a mentorship system that makes for balance in your life hold my hand father what's your name huh antony tony in the name of jesus everything that represents witchcraft i join my faith with that of your father and your leader Dr. Daniel Odikoya and I decree in the name of Jesus, be free now. I decree by the power of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of death far from your dwelling. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Who is looking for a job? Uh -uh, I'm not saying, I'm not on employment. I'm talking to these guys. That I, of course, I know that people are trusting God for jobs. Where did you apply? Huh? Kaduna State Civil Service. The Lord says, I should pray for you that they will give you. Do I know you applied for a job? Stand up. Uh, prophecy is powerful. In a moment, God can just change things like that. My dear, let me tell you this. 
it's not even the issue of Kaduna State Civil Service alone. Huh? God is going to give you unusual influence. It will marvel you. Amen. Are we together now? Hold my hands. You believe what I'm telling you? Yes. Father, confirm your word in a way that will surprise this lady. Let that rejected stone in the name of Jesus become the chief cornerstone. Receive of that grace in the name of Jesus. I speak it so. I make it so. I establish it by the power of prophecy. Let me pray for you. Gentlemen, I don't know if it's you or someone related to you, but there's someone God is giving a job. Someone looking for a job. But I want to pray for you. Father, you called out the gentlemen from MFM Kano and the remaining places. I decree and declare by the God of heaven that everything that represents witchcraft in your life, let it give way now. In the name of Jesus, let it give way now. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm not going to ask you to come. God bless you. But I'm lifting up my hand. I'm seeing... You know how you cover a bride when you are about to marry? Before they remove that thing from her face. This is what I'm seeing. But that one is not bride of wedding. This is evil. Covering your entire... A human being with almost no head. Huh? And the Lord is saying I should pray that that veil be torn. I don't know who that person is. But right now the power of God is going... There, there, there are many of you I perceive. In the name of Jesus. That veil that has covered you so that no good thing finds you by the god of heaven and in the name of jesus the christ of god i declare that fail turn into pieces now turn into pieces now inside outside online turn into pieces now the last case i attend to and then we we'll begin to pray for the sick nothing ever lasts in your hand this is the problem you are trusting God for. In fact, it's one of your requests. Nothing, many good things continue to happen, but they never last. If a, if a season of open door comes, three, four months, sometimes men can come into your life or women can come into your life and after two, three months, for reasons you cannot explain, you have never sustained any blessing for up to two years. As it comes, you will see it. Sometimes you will go to bed in the night and you will have a dream. You may see someone come maybe to molest you or to attempt to have an affair with you. This is what I'm seeing. The moment that thing happens, it will not be up to one month and every good thing goes down. But I'm praying right now. In the name of Jesus, whoever belongs to this category, every attachment you have with spirits that are not of the Christ, that warrant visitations in the night to molest and oppress you and spy into your liberty I declare by the spirit of God be free now be free now help them please be free now be free now My dear, come, you, come. Hold my hands. It's, your, it's a new season for you. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Step into a new season. I've touched you. I saw you climbing a ladder in the spirit. I release you into that dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have to hurry up and pray for the sick now. Now please watch this. This lady jumping. Shame and reproach. I call it by his name and I command it to leave you now. Shame and reproach to leave you and let you go. In the name of Jesus. Someone will run by the anointing to me. Don't stop the person, just hold the person. This is what I'm seeing by the Spirit. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. Why these things? I'm not saying to run consciously, I will send you back. This is by the anointing, please. There is order in the house of God. Order in the church. Are we together? The, the hand of God now as I speak is coming upon you. My soul longs 
and even thirst for you. My heart and my flesh cries out for the living God, for the living God. Incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face and burning longing for you. I declare to all of you that came out by the spirit I shift you go forward now go forward now the power that holds you down I take authority over it in the name of Jesus go forward now I release your families to go forward now in the name of Jesus now please hear me our time is gone we have to be fast now listen for those who will be laying hands on you don't think that because it is not joshua selman laying hands on you remember i told you that there is a grace that everyone who is called to serve in this ministry and designated and mandated carries that grace we're about to pray for the sick now now listen please there are three conditions that i will want to minister lay hands on the people myself remember don't tell lies you cannot come to the truth lying are we together don't insist that i just want joshua selman to touch that's not the idea aside from those who are in the main auditorium that i request to come out if you're trusting god for a miracle if you are here and you are suffering from cancer number one number two you are suffering from hiv Number three, you are suffering from barrenness. It doesn't matter what overflow you are in. If you have any of these three cases, please, with those who are in the main auditorium, I want you to join them and come. Otherwise, please, all the overflows, move to your projector screen and stand there all as directed by the ushers or protocol. Anyone trusting God for to be prayed for, for healing right now, I want you to make your way to the front quickly. And then in addition to that, the three cases I've mentioned, you come into the main auditorium and join. Please quickly, we have to hurry up. Overflow one, please walk to your projector stand. Overflow two, I don't know from where now. As directed, walk to your projector stand. Overflow three, walk to your projector stand. Uh, my God, I don't know. If there's overflow to be then just walk as you are directed somebody should stand in front of them and direct them appropriately please overflow four um also just move to your projector stand or as directed those online following from whatever nation of the world just connect by faith as we pray hallelujah now please watch this our time is gone and we are going to be doing this very fast listen please if you are here and you are yet to write your prayer request per adventure you are coming for the first time and you need an opportunity to write your prayer request please someone help them with a piece of paper or whatever it is that you will need everyone you can pen down your prayer request now when you are done please lift it and there will be ushers PR help them protocol help them whoever needs to help them let's make it very fast overflow one two three those online i believe that theirs has also been collated we're going to have everything now so that as soon as we're done we'll pray for the request the moment you are done please wave it or pass it to the person um at the aisle where it can be picked give them room to write if you need a piece of paper you can help your friend or wave your hand
Lord, you reign. Your throne is established in justice and righteousness. Lord, you reign. King of the you are the ancient of days. Lord, you reign. Help me. We cry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have some hands tonight. Um, Pastor Jakes and Ejimi will do Overflow 3. Since there will be several people there, Overflow 3. They'll be ministering to Overflow 3. Benga will go to Overflow 1. Promise Overflow 1, 2. Um, Kenny Overflow 2. 2A now. Uh, 2A or 2B. Praise the Lord. Isaac overflow to be praise the Lord Ima overflow overflow what now what is left huh overflow the last overflow whether overflow four okay no overflow to be go to overflow four praise the Lord it'll have to be a very quick walk because there are several people I'll minister to the people here praise the Lord now please listen please except they want to talk to you prophetically don't worry listen just a touch is all that you need and I want you to believe by faith as soon as they touch you do what you couldn't do head back to your seat unfortunately because of the limited time we may not have time to take testimonies as you would have seen in many of my external ministrations for two reasons one this is a miracle service dedicated to ministering to people if we we'll pray and say be, if you are healed come out it will take a lot of time we don't have that luxury of time praise the lord so we are doing three things at the same time one we are praying for the sick has promised has promised okay pastor alpha oh uh who is in overflow one only you two of you okay pastor alpha join them in overflow three pastor femi uh-huh he pastor femi should go to did I give you a place? Pastor Femi, join um, Overflow 2. 2B. Two okay, with, with Ima now. 2B or 4. You are in 2. Only you. Okay, so um, Femi, please join him in Overflow 4. Overflow 4. Praise the Lord. Just direct them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace. And we declare, let there be miracles right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please write your requests, believing the worship team will lead us through a time of worship while we are doing this. It will be very fast. Afterwards, I will just pray and prophesy to everyone. And then we'll try to tie it up tonight. But whilst you are sitting, make sure you connect by faith. You can involve your loved ones. Let them know that God is moving right now. He's blessing people. Lord, we give you all the praise. Let there be great miracles by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise up on your feet. If they are still praying for you, where, wherever, whatever, overflow, don't worry. Just, just hang on there. Please stretch your hands to this request as we pray. I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to declare by the Spirit. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Please lift your voice, everyone. Let's have all the requests here, please. If there are people who are yet to submit. I'd like you to stretch your hands to these requests as you declare that these Egyptians that I see today, I see no more forever. Shh. 
habratos kaparuze degete rakata baranda skete balakoto shiata embratos ke parusha lakatos rekete paruda shiata Lord turn impossible situations around in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus release miracles release solutions break yokes oh God turn around family situations for your name's sake reveal callings reveal destinies let your people find purpose let your people find direction make sure you are praying lord stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people Shabarato Sedepa and Telekoto Shabra Shibra Katosh Capres Shabaruta Sedekatabalash in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please agree with me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Louder, Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. Father, tonight we come to you the God that can answer prayers and Lord I decree standing in the presence of your people thousands of people have submitted their requests a representation of their expectations their pain their disappointments their anticipations Lord I decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems we declare lose your grip now lose your grip now number two i declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for these requests to be granted by the message of the god of heaven we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by God to allow this request to be answered in the name of Jesus we call on the father of spirits to touch them on that wise and every request that remains because of the hardness of the hearts of men we break that hardness now father answer speedily Lord answer speedily Amen. turn situations around Amen. every death sentence represented in this request we declare that death sentence is cancelled in the name of Jesus Amen. and so father we give you praise because we declare by faith the very faith of the Son of God that these requests are met in Jesus name Amen. as I stand upon these requests I declare by the spirit of faith that in the mighty name of Jesus that which God has done now remains permanent in Jesus name and I prophesy over you by the God of heaven the Egyptians that you see today that pursued you from Egypt to the Red Sea and beyond I declare by the spirit you will see them no more forever no matter how long you have been in egypt if you go out of egypt no going back in the name of jesus between now and the next three weeks may the god of heaven in the name of jesus 21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit i decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks And every request that has been released already but has been hijacked by men and systems I mount pressure on those men and systems to allow this request manifest I mount pressure on those systems allow this request manifest let it be so in the name of Jesus give Jesus praise hallelujah 
I'm going to declare the last prophetic word over everyone here. Please, I'd like you to be sensitive. Don't be careless about it. Hallelujah. Please, they can come and pick it. I believe in the power of prophecy. The spoken word is also creative. It can make things happen. It not only reveals what will happen, it makes things that has no business happening to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare over you, please hear me, by the God of heaven, every door that has been closed over your destiny, I stand here as the servant of the living God. I force that door to open now. Everyone trusting God for a job, a meaningful job, not a nonsense job that does not have honor. I pray now, a job that will not take your relationship away from God, a job that will not make you compromise, receive that job in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life, the kind of fire that you need on your prayer life in this season. I speak over you. Receive fresh fire. Access to revelation. Access to light. Receive it in Jesus name. Every helper of your destiny. Who must show up in this season. To make the word of God to come to pass. I command them to appear now. I preached last week on the book of remembrance. Let me pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. I open the book. Both in the heavens and in the earth. And I declare. Every good thing you have done to any man on earth. I compel remembrance now. I compel remembrance now. Every kind of barrenness, biological barrenness, financial barrenness, career barrenness, ministerial barrenness, I cause it now and I command it to leave you. Let me pray over the spirit of death any family here appointed unto death i speak by the god of heaven be free now number two every family appointed unto hardship that you will never see the goodness and the salvation of the lord i cancel that pronouncement now Listen, by the blood of the eternal covenant, in the name of Jesus, I cause every foundational issue that causes hardship and pain and retrogression over your life now. The kind of honor you have never seen in your life, I speak to you by the Spirit, step into it. Let me pray for favor. I will never stop praying this prayer till you carry it bodily. Access to the hearts of kings. Access to the resources of kings. Receive it now by favor. Restoration of visions, dreams. Listen. There are many of you who used to have dreams and encounters. Nothing crosses over you without your eyes seeing it. But it looks like you are becoming like Eli. Your eyes becoming dim. I pray for you. I fan back your vision to flames. In the name of Jesus. Every pattern that is in any family you see it in your siblings you see it in your life i declare let it be broken now anyone in ministry here please hear me i speak to you as you return back to your various stations let fire fall upon your altar
I pray for everyone in business dying business dead business let it come back to life now please don't just say amen believe creation is happening everything God showed you from the beginning of this year and told you should have entered your hand by now but the devil is adding 30 extra years to your 400 years I push you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I speak to you by the God of heaven any man that fights you goes down instantly And anyone holding what is yours and has vowed not to release it in the name of Jesus may God humble the pride of wicked men anyone who has said over my dead body for this family to move may God answer their prayers I open the door of favor towards every family here in the name of Jesus all our ladies and all the women that are due to give birth I declare give birth like the Hebrew women in the name of Jesus let me pray for all the gentlemen our time is gone but I must pray for you the grace that establishes a man early may that grace rest on you for those of you who are still 30 years 35 40 50 still loitering your parents house eating your mother's food not just as honor but as a necessity in the name of Jesus by the God who is the lifter of men I declare may that reproach live your life now anyone here called barren in Jesus name by November miracle service you come here pregnant already let me pray for every ministry here every prayer group every platform intercessory groups churches fresh grace for you in the name of Jesus Christ the final prayer I'm going to pray for you honor is what makes men reward you listen 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 honor is the ability to discern the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness you can be as anointed as anything but when honor is not on you men will only just celebrate you from afar but you will never live a rewarded life i pray the prayer that jabez cried unto god for the bible says and jabez was more honorable than his brethren i pray for you everywhere you find yourself rise above your contemporaries let me pray the last prayer point don't say it's not important there are people here your life is not advancing the kingdom in any way this is not altar call this is prayer for you to settle down and let your life advance as far as God is concerned you are time on earth if your life does not find a space to advance the kingdom not your work not your service not your worship it looks like nothing about your life there is no kingdom come represented in your life you are just living for yourself hand to mouth to marry have children maybe go to school get a job i redirect your focus now in the name of jesus christ may your life and everything involved around it cause the kingdom the power and the glory of god to be manifest in the name of jesus 
and every other request here whether mentioned or not i stand in agreement with you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god receive it as a testimony in the next one minute whether you are in overflow one two three or here you are yet to make jesus lord of your life genuinely please no movement and or you are saying apostle i've handed my life over to jesus but for some reason things have just scattered around my life and i don't seem to gain any footing and bearing and i want to make my way right with god please whether you are in overflow one overflow two the main auditorium aside from overflow three please i'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here right now koinonia celebrate them don't wait for anyone to come first quickly if you're coming please come and stand come and stand apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved or not join them quickly join them quickly koinonia is this the best you can do join them quickly scripture says you must be born again if you're coming from outside please make it snappy make it as fast as possible hallelujah i salute every one of you here please lift your right hand believe that jesus is here standing before you gentlemen and ladies please join them very quickly if you're coming please come quickly 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 you're coming come very quickly thank you now say this after me say it passionately say it truthfully believing that jesus is here and he will honor your confession of faith say after me lord jesus tonight i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification tonight I ask you to be my Lord, my Savior, and my King. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that from tonight and forever, I move forward ever, backward never these three ladies didn't pray the prayer somebody direct them and let them pray that prayer the prayer is already finished you this yellow girl and those two those my sisters or shall any of you are you not christians direct them someone pray the prayer with them in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now begin to walk in victory in jesus name i introduce you to the ministry of the holy spirit you will know him you will walk in his ways you will command strange results in your life in the name of jesus christ i call you tonight the righteousness of god i call you that you are part of the family of heaven in the name of jesus all of the people who are just coming you're welcome god bless you just join that group that they are praying with and just pray the prayer that they lead you to pray in the name of jesus christ lord jesus thank you for these precious ones that you died for I decree and declare that tonight you receive by faith the abundance of grace the gift of righteousness and I declare that you reign in life go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name I pray amen and amen God bless you all of you in concert I want you to follow the lady smiling at you with her hands lifted everyone please follow her and um, they will direct you to a few people to just follow you or praise the Lord. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.